Hey YouTube, how's it going? Ed here with another video, and today this is just going to be my first impressions of Le Vet of a Bluff by Luban. Now, Luban are a very old historic French niche perfume house founded by Pierre Francois Luban in 1798. So, the brand itself is steeped in European history, but it's also gone through many financial rigors in the past and has been sold many different times to different large corporations and up until recently was actually part of the Weller Group. But this all changed in 2004 when it was purchased by Gilles Thevenin, the former director of creation at Guerlain, who came across the name whilst leafing through the backlists of the Weller stock. Now, the story goes that he begged his bosses for a chance to resurrect the brand, as it was one of the oldest names in luxury in the world, yet no one in the company was remotely interested in it. Every day for 15 months, Thevenin lobbied the Weller board for the right to purchase Luban, and when he prevailed, he quit his position there and focused on getting Luban up and running again. Now, the bottle is of very interesting design. We have a 70s style art deco silver mirrored raised lettering on the front, which I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I mean, is it cool? Is it kitsch? Is it tacky? Um, or is it just plain silly? I, I'm not entirely sure. But I do like the shape of the bottle itself, and the bottle has this very cool curvature to it, as you can see. And also, the cap is made out of real wood, not a plastic imitation, so that's a nice touch as well. And the box which houses the bottle is made of a very thick, substantial cardboard, um, almost as if it should be housing a watch or a piece of jewellery, perhaps, and not a perfume bottle. Levette of a Bluff was first launched in 2009, and the perfumer behind this was Thomas Fontaine. It comes in a 75ml bottle only, and if you want to buy this online or in stores in the UK at least, you're looking to pay in excess of £60. The top notes are lime, bergamot, um, nutmeg and cinnamon. The middle notes are clary sage, iris and kola nut. And the base notes are vetiver, cedar, patchouli, sandalwood and vanilla. Now what I get from the first spray is a very fresh, sweet opening uh, with the lime and some of the cinnamon. And then I get an accord which smells a bit like Coca-Cola, but not quite. All in all, it seems very good that there's no detectable vetiver in this just yet, and it actually smells very unique. This might be a good summer scent, possibly for casual daytime or maybe for work. It doesn't seem to project a whole lot at the moment, so... It seems to be wearing quite close to the skin, but I need to live with the fragrance for about a week before I can form a proper opinion on this, but all in all at the moment I'm very impressed. So there we go, that's been my first impressions of Levette of a Bluff. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, cheers for watching, and take care!